Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Coach has got some meetings he's got to get to. Yes. Just your take on the scrimmage today, what you were trying to get out of it, how you feel about what you saw. I saw a lot of good stuff. We got everything we wanted uh, health-wise. Everybody's healthy. Um, but I thought the uh, energy and effort was good. Um, some late game stuff. Uh, we played three full quarters, I, and I thought everybody did did a really good job. It sounded like Reggie was mentioning a lot of specifics defensively um, today. Has that been, again, primarily <laughs> the focus, and how do you feel things are going on that end? Yeah, I think uh, defense is always first um, that we talk about and last. So uh, maybe in Reggie's mind it was a lot, and, and, and to his point, uh, that's where we, we, we feel that we can win games. Uh, we know we have guys who can score the ball, um, but being able to have everybody on the same page defensively is what we're working at. And, um, and I think the guys, again, have done a really good job with that. We've asked a lot about specific players, but Reggie is one that um, he mentioned how, uh, how much he focused on conditioning this offseason. He saw at the end, the final series, how much he was going to be running, how much he wanted to be ready to go. Um, can you talk about what you've seen from him and just the, the minutes and the miles that he puts on? For yeah, you? yeah, Reggie uh, did a lot for us last year. Um, uh, when you look at, uh, at the end of the season, he was running a lot of miles, uh, chasing the best offensive player on the opponent. And so uh, I think not just Reggie, but a lot of those guys, Dorian, um, Luca, guys saw that the marathon is long. You know, May, June, um, if you're lucky to get that far, you, you still have a lot to give and, and, and understand what it means to be in shape, not just physically, but mentally too. You mentioned that. Uh, the other day that you don't really know what you have yet. Uh, so is that uncertainty? I mean, you think you're better, and every, but so does everybody else in the West probably. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's true. Uh, you know, how do you balance that? And, and, and I mean, obviously, you've got confidence and optimism, but still, you're not sure of things right now. Yeah, um, we we have a core that's been together. Um, this is our second year together as, as a unit. Uh, we talk about coaching staff and players, and we have some new pieces. So uh, every season's different. Um, no matter uh, how long you've been together, there's always something that uh, is different. You've improved, hopefully, one or two percent uh, over the summer. Uh, um, but I, just the rhythm of the game, if you think about last year, we couldn't shoot straight to start the season. Um, and there, in uh, somewhere after All Star break, we started to shoot the ball straight. So, um, it's again, if you're going to be a team that shoots a lot of threes, uh, we have we have to learn from last year and understand that you know those shots that we did get, we have to make. But um, until we get um, continuity with the rotation and um, who's playing and who's not, um, then we'll know what we have. You Has this team shot it straight yet, or so far? Oh yeah, they're shooting the ball straight. Uh, and, and, and just looking uh, at the two preseason games, uh, and uh, we'll see on Friday going up to Utah uh, as our last rest rehearsal. Uh, you know, getting ready to see, and hopefully we shoot the ball straight there. Does pretty much everybody make that trip? Yeah, everybody makes the trip, uh, and we'll we'll go with our uh, rotation and and just see how that looks, um, and then. Uh, come back Sunday and practice, but uh, you know, on that flight home, we'll talk as a staff of what we liked about the rotation and maybe looking at something different. Uh, but again, we have 82 games to look at different combinations. You talk about that core coming back. I think it was Maxie that said earlier in the week that it's been maybe faster to implement some things that it took you a little bit longer in the yeah. season last year's own defense. Like, have you seen that? You've been able to do things quicker? Yeah, we we put uh, tempo on the practice and uh, for training camp. We we want things to go fast. Uh, we, we understand um, they're going to make mistakes. Uh, how can we correct them quickly and, and then move on to the next uh, the next step? But we're not going to skip steps. And so uh, this group uh, kind of knows in the sense of what we want from them defensively. Uh, being able to put in the zone um, for them to be able to pick it up. We want it to be hard. Uh, the, the harder we can make it for them in drills, we believe it will be easier in the game. 
question, Jason. I'm sorry if you were asked this before I was talking to Reggie, but you mentioned, I guess, a couple of days ago that today might be after the scrimmage when you guys kind of make cuts and start to figure out the roster. I'm just curious what the timeline, like how you guys are going about that timeline, knowing that it doesn't have to be down to 15 until Monday. Yeah, I, I think um, from the past it just was a little awkward to take everyone um, and then have a day off um, and cut guys. So. Um, I think we're just trying to look at the, uh, be a little bit more sensitive to that um, situation. So learning from that from last year. Um, so we'll, we'll make uh, the cuts now um, with guys being around to be able to say, you know, bye or see you later or, or, or whatever it may be. Um, we just felt it was just not, it was a little unsensitive of uh, the way things went down last year. So as, a, as an organization, we just want to be better. Star of the scrimmage today. The star. Um, <laughs> Hardy was good today. Um, Hardy. Hardy was good. Um, though, I, I mean, the guys who uh, I thought C Wood was good. Uh, the newcomers were all good today, and so um, I won't just leave it to, to the newcomers. But Luca's Luca. Luca. Mm -hmm. uh, the scoreboard is up, so he's going to participate at a high level. <laughs> So I, I thought everybody did, again, everybody did a good job. In an empty arena, it's a little harder, right, uh, to pay attention. Um, and without the noise, uh, we had a little music going, but I thought just this is the only second time in this building. So we need to, you know, be in this building a little bit more, hopefully before uh, the 22nd. I would think for some of the younger guys yeah. to look over and see Dirk and Tyson at every practice at the scrimmage. Does that, do you think, elevate in their minds even their play when those guys show up? Uh, the young guys might not even know who Dirk is. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. They know who Dirk is. No, I think it's great for the organization. It just shows uh, uh, the class uh, and what um, you know the past uh, means to the Mavs to, to be able to have Dirk come to training camp. Uh, Tyson's helping out, so um, you know I think it's it's great to see those those guys here. Um, Dirk's IQ is off the charts, not just for the players, but for the coaches. Um, we're kind of using him as a consultant for the coaches, uh, what he likes. I'll, I'll text with him and talk to him um, what he liked about practice, what he didn't like. Um, he says that he could have he he played for me, which is a great compliment, but I told him that it's too fast. <laughs> He's the best, he, but it's great, I think, for our organization to have past players uh, come back and be involved. I was going to say, does he have notes, Dirk? Uh, he does have he does. notes. He has notes. He has notes. He sent us his notes after the first week. I'm waiting for the notes for the second week. He's, he's, he's been involved. He's been, he's been great. Um, uh, we know he has other thing, commitments, uh, but when he does have some free time, uh, we do want him around.